Hello Crafty Clan! It feels like we're live. Hopefully we're live. Let me know. Thank you for spending your Sunday with me. Today we are going to be making the the second and hopefully the third of our Sloth family. Uh, let me know in the comments. We'll do a wee poll. Do you want me to make Mama Sloth Mama Sloth next or do you want me to make Baby Sloth Sloth? Can't speak. And we'll have a go at them. And before we get started as well, I want to say thank you to Alicia. Uh, last week I got carried away giving the sloth daddy a beer belly. And I did say I was getting a bit low in the mushroom wool. So Alicia, thank you so much. She actually <laughs> sent me a little bag of extra mushroom fluff. So we should have enough to make... We should have enough to make mama. But I will say, if, if it happens to you and you get overly carried away, there is plenty of fluff in the bag. But if you get overly carried away, you could wrap some core to make the body and then cover it with with the pretty colours anyway. So you're not, you're not out if you do it wrong. But yeah, let me know. Um, we will we'll do a little poll in the comments. Mama or baby uh, for what kind of sloth you want created next. Also, sloth or sloth? Did we ever decide that? I can't remember. Hope you've all had an awesome week anyway. Um, again, I am energy at zero. I think the end of the summer is just not good for me. And eyeballs are, are hating all the all the pollen. I was going to say something like tree sex, but I'll probably get myself banned on YouTube for that said it anyway didn't I let's check the chat and then we'll see what our results of our poll give us and then we'll get to work so the makers is in the house I believe that's Alicia in the makers clothes just now uh G Morgan yay made it good morning from far northern Minnesota winter will be here in about six weeks yeah I don't want to think about that I will say though right weird weird question question of the day kind of thing um because I was out this week a nice little woodland walk that I'd found while doing my lockdown adventures and I went back there and I just noticed there was tons of brambles or black berries I always muddle them up blackberries um so I was picking them I thought this is great um uh, do, doing a little bit of foraging for my tea made a lovely pudding with them but um I was just thinking, is that not awful early for brambles? And then my mum said the same thing. So what time are you... I always think brambles should have been out in September. And we are a couple of weeks ahead of when I would have thought they would be out. And also, I grew up a good three, four hundred miles further so south in England. So our brambling... Our fruit season should have been a little bit earlier so let me know when black when are blackberries supposed to be out is this a bit early this year it did seem weird random weird question but yeah whatever uh george on the rocks finally made it hi there george good to see you um and yes the makers is today is alicia in in the makers coat <laughs> um dee -dee -dee. And chat always jumps when I'm trying to check it. Uh, George on the Rocks, not so much craft project, doing voiceovers for, for one video and editing another. I think doing videos is crafting. I Yeah, I've got two videos I need to edit, one video I need to finish scripting, one video I need to do a voiceover. I'm so behind with everything. I need more hours. I, I don't know. I just seem to not be getting as much done as I want to get done anymore. Um, Serena's here. Hello there. Good to see you. Um, George on the Rock. Sunday is either a painting day or something else to do with videos. Yeah, well, it's good. It is good to have a, a structure and know what you're needing to be doing on <laughs> on Sundays as well. But yeah, take, take a break from the video editing. It is hard work. If anyone hasn't checked out, George on the Rocks also has a YouTube channel doing painting rocks, painting stones. Hence hence the name. It was 50-50 in my head whether this was going to be a whiskey, <laughs> a whiskey channel or a painting channel. But rock painting. It's really relaxing to watch rock painting. 
faith is in the house awesome oh i hit something really weird there um faith is in the house um george thank you so nice to see you yeah great to see you too it's great to Great to see everybody. Thank you. Uh, Carol, hello there. Um, Carol, oh, you guys are going to make it hard for me, aren't you? Carol saying baby. Georgia saying mama. Um, G Morgan saying we spend all summer prepping for winter. No big deal. Ice out usually comes by mid-May. Oh, well, yeah. I, I know some places like... It, our, our winters are a bit... It, it's like our summers. We get spikes of what we consider really hot and then a bit meh and then winter's the same we get spikes of like below freezing and stuff but in general most of our seasons are just wet and a bit a, a bit on the you don't know if you've got to wear a coat or not kind of weather uh faith saying mama uh, g morgan's oh yum a uh, little blue artwork hello there good to see you um, G Morgan's South South of here August is right for blackberries. <laughs> um <laughs> Kiss My Stained Glass, loving the name. Uh hello everyone <laughs> G Morgan, yeah, but I, I guess that was berries, not errors. Black bra brerers. <laughs> um Little Blue Artworks is kit making with our company. That's cool. I might have something to show you from Little Blue Artworks at some point. Okay, I just, as I say, I am so behind with everything. Um, G Morgan, it's too cold for blackberries here. Oh, I do love. I, I do love the, the forage for blackberries. Also, I was walking my dog Mia and she was quite disgusted with me stopping all the time to pick up things. And then when I gave her one to try, anything you offer this dog, she will take it and try it. But gave her the blackberry and she took it and then spat it out with the most disgusting look on her face. <laughs> George, whiskey sounds like a fun niche. Oh, I bet you it exists. Yeah, I'm sure people have done that. Um... Serena, I'm here but won't be chatty as felting my larger fox. Oh, awesome. Yeah, good fun with that. I love making foxes. Foxes are so much fun. And CJ Phoenix Dragon. <laughs> good morning, Pam and everyone. Hello, it's CJ. Hi there. Good to see you. Uh, right, guys. Well, rude. Plane going outside. It sounds to me like we are going for the mama. I really thought you guys would pick baby, but... I asked, we're going with a mama, so let's see, because we've already done a mama, hopefully we'll get this, get this nice and fast and see if we've got time, and, um, ooh, well, <laughs> what was that, oh, <laughs> Pauline's just subscribed, <laughs> I forgot I put the zombies on, I hope that actually shows up on my screen or I sound like insane, anyway. <laughs> Thank you so much for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, you get a zombie on screen. Right. Um but yeah, let's let's see how different the mama will come out, how quickly I can get her felted and let's head down to two cameras. Right here's Daddy. We'll put him aside here. Um and this is the mama colour. So yeah, I need to keep that here. Take a bite bait beige. <laughs> going to be one of these days take a beige pipe cleaner and cut it into 20 centimeters and 10 centimeters that's about there and take the main color tease out and yes we're going to wind leaving one and a half centimeters at the end for the hat we know we know what this is for now it's like i've read ahead um Yeah. <laughs> Kiss my stained glass. I need to subscribe. Yep, if you want your own zombie, you've got to sub subscribe. <laughs> uh, let's start here. So that's about. We'll give her slightly bigger hands because she's got to hold on to, hold tight while having baby on her belly at some point. Um, yeah, CJ Phoenix. We saw the zombie. It's cool. I'm so glad it came up on the screen. That's cool. Because <laughs> a lot of these things, when you set up the tech for something, it doesn't always like show up. All it doesn't always work all the time with all these apps. 
I don't understand them. So I set up the zombie like years ago now. Um, and I've not seen it. And I know people have subscribed in the stream. So <laughs> I just thought it wasn't working anymore. But it is. Which is awesome. Right. Let's kind of make that look a bit more even. But yes, we're going to make Mama's arms a little bit thinner. The whole of Mama's going to be a little bit thinner. She's, she's having a hard life, is Mama. She's got... Sloths don't want to do much, but she can't nap so well because she's got baby lying on top of her. Or she will have, if we get around to making him. But there we go. Arms. And I'm just going to felt them. No, look. Yeah, it is the arms that are the long bit. I was going to say it's legs, but no, it's arms. And I'll just felt them a little bit to hold everything in place. See how much of this I can remember. Um, whoops. Um... The makers has made you've made all of your sloths just getting getting the display ready. Got my husband to drill some holes in the bamboo for me. <laughs> Bit cheeky. Ah no, that's good thinking. If you have handy people to help you, that sounds even better. And yeah, drilling holes in the bamboo sounds a good way to go about it. Right. Leggy leggies. Yeah, I'm not sure. I've I've put down my vine leaves somewhere for this project, um, and I have I can't see where they are just now, so I'll have to find them later. Typical me, really. I get I've got so many projects I'm in the middle of making that I just lose half the stuff that I need for them. Jump. I liked it when we were on lockdown and I didn't have to have planes going over my house every two minutes. I don't know if you can actually hear that on the on the camera, but I live underneath an airport and we had for a good few weeks, it was really nice and quiet with no planes. And when occasionally a plane did go overhead, because um, the army or something were doing, I don't know what you call them, but kind of dips. Um, dips onto sort of land and take off again for a little while and literally everyone that was out in the park just sort of stopped and looked as like there's an aeroplane going overhead but yeah it's no longer a novelty we're back to we're back to lots of planes again which yeah it's great and all but <laughs> I, I did like the peace and quiet um so what's next we've got two legs take the extra long pipe cleaner, bend it in half, um, and I want four centimeters twisty twisty. Eee. See, we're rattling through this. Um, oh, it was Serena's idea to do the drilling. Awesome, great idea. Right, um, four centimeters is. Oh, how good's that? That's pretty good. Um, and then we're going to take the long bits. That's about the middle. Pop her in and twisty twisty. It's so much easier when you've done this once and you've got a kind of idea of what's going on. A kind of idea. Right, and then I think I want another four centimeters so that looks about the same length. And in go the legs. Let's just twist it so that they're gonna pop out on the same angle. and twisty twisty and tuck away the rest of the wires you could snip the wires as well but just tucking them away and then that gives a little strength to the body too and this is if you don't have enough of the mushroom because you were an idiot and followed me then i would wrap some core wool round her belly to fatten her up a bit but I'm good so we've got to take take some of the mushroom to strengthen up her joints so just a little crisscross here and that'll strengthen that it's just like a little figure eight round her body and I'll just felt that and that just holds the limbs in place even better 
and the same for her lady pegs. There we go. Fifteen minutes in, and we're in, we're into the bizarre Christmas tree stage already. That's pretty good. Um, um. Oh, Carol just made one and she's a she so you're making the daddy today awesome um helen sorry i'm late i had to put sainsbury's away awesome shopping day um g morgan so if i found a felting needle cl clover in the clearance cart at my craft store what's the easiest first project to do should i get a sty styrofoam bowl and shape or work on a roving bowl and the maker is alicia saying absolutely make a bowl <laughs> Do not use a styrofoam ball. I'm going to say one of the easiest... Well, this, this is actually a really cool, easy project. But very first project, make a, make a ball. And then I have videos for needle felting a penguin, which is a super easy, fun project you can do from a ball. So give that a go. Um, so yeah, you only need like black and white then to to make a penguin and they're cute and they're so easy um and i think yeah i absolutely cheated and just used cut out bits of pre ready made felt to make the to make the wings so yeah super easy so yay but yeah don't use a polystyrene ball unless you hate yourself entirely they are the fleece doesn't stick to it very well um and it makes horrible teeth yeah it, it makes horrible noises i've got to save a bit of this for baby it makes absolutely horrible noises on your needle um, they're just they're no fun don't don't anybody use polystyrene balls and don't see if you see a kit and you look to buy a kit don't buy it if it's got polystyrene balls unless you buy extra fleece like extra roving make your make yourself a ball and then carry on with the kit because there were some good kits we did a Hey, what was it? It was cactus. Cactus's kit. That was good fun, but not with a polystyrene ball. I tried. I honestly tried with the the cactus kit, which is not from the makers. It was a cheap kit from somewhere else. See, <laughs> don't don't do that. Um, but the kit itself was really good, apart from the use a polystyrene ball. And it just feels like the people making these kits have need, never needle felted. They'll put in the wrong types of fibers for you to felt with and then they'll put in polystyrene balls and they'll go yay we made a needle felting kit it's like no you really didn't um. faith yeah make a ball first it become become so many things and it gets you hooked fast yeah a ball is absolutely the best first project because it gets you the hang of how to move your needle about how to know how far to felt um you can well if you've only got one needle you, you only have one needle but if you have more than one needle you can play around with different needles and see which ones you like you can play around with different fibers because we all have different felting styles we have different amounts basically different needles and different fibers will felt a different amount for each amount of stab and some of them will just have too much resistance they're too stabby as i call it so as you can probably see when i felt in with this it slightly deforms things but if i used a really much more stabby needle every stab takes more force and it deforms the fibers a bit more so some people like that because they work faster but i prefer to put more stabs in to get a kind of slower smooth result this is what i like but we're all different um, but yes a ball so many ideas i mean if you make a big ball you can do the christmas ball balls which you could just make a big ball and cut and then get different colors and just put them in to make something colorful or you can practice making neat designs on it all sorts of things um Uh, Faith, I put a little of the lighter baby brown on the mummy's tummy to make her more ladylike and added some lippy... Oh, I look right. We're, 
we're copying copying faith here um a little bit of the lighter on her tummy i like the sound of that i don't know if sloths have it in real life but she's getting it which is yeah that's definitely her front yeah that's a great idea and yeah that okay here we go if you're making a ball that's how easy it is to add a different color i literally just took a different color and dropped it on top um and yeah that's cute it, the colors really blend together really quite well so it just gives a little bit of shading um <laughs> G Morgan, OMG, you made me spit my, you made me spit my coffee. I try not to punish myself that often. Oh dear. Um yeah. uh, the makers use bats, they're much easier to start with than with roving felts much easier. Yep, um I yeah, I can actually show you an example. This is bats where you can see the fibers kind of go in all sorts of directions already. It's got a nice kind of fluffy texture. They still have a bit of a grain to them. So the fibers are more in that direction than they are in that direction. So I can wrap them and stuff. But this is bats. And roving is this stuff that's brushed out and looks like hair. It's beautiful for making long hair. Absolutely. That's what I use all the time. It can be good for a top coat as well. If you want this color, you can wrap it easily and everything, but it's not so easy to felt with as a core wool because, I mean, if you're doing tiny projects like I do, it's not a huge deal, but it totally is easier to use bats. But as you can see with this, all the hairs are brushed out. They're all in one direction. So they're much, much more well behaved, um, but they're it's much quicker to felt with this zany all over the place bats um, Helen Faith I loved her lippy I did I see that I can't it's ringing a bell now <laughs> I'll have to go and look that up again yes I love the idea of lipstick on the mama sloth um G Morgan this one's a small size needle yeah that's cool J give it a go um and you'll get your own style of what you like. If they're too small, all that happens is you have to stab a lot more. Um, you know, things felt a little bit slower. But you you get used to, like, it's going to take a long time, whatever you need, because you're turning a fiber into a fabric, basically. So that takes time. Uh, Helen, yeah, pumpkins from a ball is super easy. It is as well, I believe. I'm pretty sure my first year I did pumpkins as well. So if you search for Pam Duffy pumpkins on YouTube, you'll find my pumpkins video. So easy, so much fun. And this is just the perfect time to do them. And yeah, if you follow one of my curl, curls tutorials as well, um, I used some zany colored curls to make the bits of greenery coming out of the top of the pumpkins which was a whole lot of fun all right i'm just going to move on to a single needle for doing the arms it's just a little bit easier to feel where it is while i'm reading stuff and not stabbing myself so much um canvas and chroma hello there good to see you um Alicia, I don't know why, but the, the makers, all your comments are coming up held for review. So that's why I'm having to stop and I'm having to allow your comments like every time. I don't know what's happening there. Um, Pauline, oh, <laughs> oh, thanks for my zombie. Yay. <laughs> I've just worked out how to add comments. So hi, everyone. Hello, Pauline. Good to see you. And yeah, I love that you're the first zombie I've seen in ages. That was great fun. Gave me a fright. <laughs> So you gave me a fright with a scary zombie, but thank you so much for joining. Um, uh, the makers, Alicia, hi. Like Pam says, she has some simple video tutorials, and we do too. We recently did Christmas baubles and the pumpkins. Erica, hello there. Good to see you. Um, and letting another makers. <laughs> right, okay. Oh, another moderator got that. Thank you. <laughs> um, what I'm going to do, if I, because you should anyway, if I give Alicia the blue wrench, hopefully that'll mean that your comments don't get stopped every time. So let's let's see if that works. <laughs> 
Oh, I was freezing before I started, but this little back bedroom that my my dungeon pub's in is really warm. But I think Mama Sloth's coming on, and nice and quickly, she's looking good. So yeah, after anyone who's starting out, after doing a bowl project, something like this Sloth's project is actually really good because I mean I could stop here I don't need to felt this all that all that tightly felted just enough so it holds together and it'll still be adorable um another maker's kit Alicia you have to let me know I'm not sure if you have it as a separate kit now but one of the um kit one of the monthly look at the words one of the the monthly maker's kits um that I found that would be a super fun beginner's project as well was the Loch Ness Monster. I really liked that one because that was just different methods and again it was a lot about wrapping, you know, making the right shapes and the amount of felting you did would, you know, it, it would look awesome at the very unstabbed state and it also looked awesome if you kept on stabbing it to, to be more felted so it was quite a fun easy project. Um. <laughs> uh, Alicia, no, it worked. You, <laughs> given the br blue r wrench, you now don't need. I don't know why it was needing you mod. I suppose it was maybe because you were logged in from a different place than it was used to see in the makers. So it was just like, oh no, we'll have to check that person's right and hasn't stolen an account. <laughs> but yes, it's good. That's all good. Right, righty, right. Um, I've got to do the head next, so I'm just firming up the top of the head a little bit, making because it's a kind of slightly pointy shape here, and then bend the head and nose down slightly. And what I'm going to do now is move on to my finest needle so that I'm not making each stab does less changes. So if you start kind of stabbing in the wrong place and it's starting to shape it a little bit wrong, then it, it just means you've got more time. If you're using a more stabby needle and you stab in the wrong place and deform something and it looks a bit a bit wrong you've done a big change but if you're using a little needle if you can see it going in the wrong direction you just stab somewhere else and you haven't changed it too much right now I have to take a little bit of the brown and lay it all around her face <laughs> I'm so tempted by the idea of lipstick but I have a feeling it will make something terrifying um, Hopefully not. <laughs> but I just I what's actually popping into my head if for those of you that remember it, there's the Gremlins Two movie where some of the Gremlins put lipstick on and stuff. And that's just what I'm thinking will happen if I try and put lipstick on her. <laughs> it's going to be a horrifying gremlin type sloth. Um Diana, hello from rainy Edinburgh. Oh no, um, well, it's actually quite nice out here in in not so rainy Glasgow. But I was I was over your your neck of the woods yesterday. Well, not quite as far as Edinburgh. We went to Beer Craig's Park, um, and it was actually really lovely. It was raining in Glasgow when I left, so I was dressed up for not so nice weather, and I ended up roasting. It was beautiful. Um, Okay, next thing is using a little bit of white wool, leaving a patch of the brown showing. And I'm not going to worry too much about getting the end of the nose covered because I know we're going to we're going to add a bit more there. So I remember stuff now. Um, Alicia, right now we don't have the Nessie, but are about to start Witch and Wizard. It's going to be a blast. Ah, awesome. Yes, totally love Halloween projects for sure. Um, 
<laughs> Pam, can you show the kit I just tagged? It's fabulous. I will see if I can. I haven't done a screen share for a while. Uh, let's see if this works. Um, screen. Oh, uh, that just opened up to a mole kit. Was that what you meant? Did I share the right thing? Anyway, they're very cute. Um, a mole family. What's that? Mum, mum, dad, child, and a baby. <laughs> I don't know if that was what you wanted, but yeah, that <laughs> that's super cute. Um, let me get all my screens back to where I was. Um, but yeah, that, not Halloween! Disappointed! Needed Halloween! <laughs> but yes, I can show her. I can share my screen still. Right. Um, and then we've got the eyes and a little bit of his nose can do. Mama Sloth's coming along so quickly. This is cool. Um, uh, makers will be doing the wizardy thing on Thursday at seven o'clock for the next three weeks. Awesome. And that wasn't the right get right. Let's let's see if this is the actual wizard. It, oh, they are great. Um, and here we have the witch and the wizard. They are fun. <laughs> we actually just a, a little, a little side. Yeah, that one. Um, a few years back, we did a wizard face, which would be kind of cool to put on to that wizard as well. Um, to, you've got the whole body and everything there. So if you want something alternative, we did a wizard face live here a couple of years ago. And it was so much fun and so easy. So if you want an alternative, because the fun thing about it was, it was a wood carving channel, YouTube channel that I found. And he was showing you how to carve the wood. And I just got a piece of felt, like like a tube of felt, as if it was a piece of wood, and stabbed where he was carving, and it became a wizard. It was so cool. <laughs> um, Faith, you shared the sloth family on on my page. Awesome, cool. I will see. I will see if I can find that. Um, I will see if I can find <laughs> find my page. Um, you guys are making me work for my work for my keep today, finding things. Um, oh, my computer is going so slowly. Oh, cool! Right, hold on, I've got it. Um, that one, and make it littler, and. I will make sure and meet this just in case there's sound. Oh no, you're terrifying me. <laughs> oh, that is freaky. I see what you mean with the <laughs> with the lipstick. Oh no, I hate this where the lips move. No, you're scaring me. <laughs> That's brilliant. Love it. Right, where have we got? We've got to put the eyes on next. I think I need a little more white first. There's not enough room to put eyes on, so a little more white. And this is really just tiny, tiny wisps of fibre. There's not much at all because I want some of the brown to show through as well. There we go, a little bit more white, and then two little bits of brown. So guys, do we want to see me attempt to make the baby sloth as well? Should we try and do two two in one day? 
um, or is that just asking too much? Because I could spend time making Mama more firm and better looking or we could make Baby. Just let me know in the comments and we will see. Oh, Alicia, I think you found my wizard face. Thank you so much. Um, that's so good of you. <laughs> I haven't seen it forever. Um, I can never find things when I search for them. Um, oh, I do have to put her eyes in as well. But, do you know, actually, I think she's come out quite cute. To lipstick or not lipstick. Now I'm traumatised with the lipstick. <laughs> um... Southpaw, these are so cute. They are a super easy little project as well. I mean, you see, I've made that in what half an hour, and I've got a I've got a sloth that's fold her hands over because she does look a bit creepy. <laughs> well, they do have. I'm I'm sorry, sloth people. I'm, I'm sorry, but they they do have kind of creepy hands. But I I do I do like their their work ethic. Um. Faith will love your reaction. <laughs> I've got a friend who always does those kind of videos with her dog and a daft wee voice and everything. <laughs> it freaks me out. And the other thing I don't I don't want to put up, but um, whenever she puts them up, I'm like, that's not the voice your dog has. I hear him with a totally different voice, <laughs> which is a weird thing to say. So I don't tell her I hear her dog with a different voice <laughs> than she, what she puts up. Oh, Mama Sloth's got quite chunky shoulders compared to Papa Sloth. <laughs> but that's, I think, yeah, I think they do, they do have a nice different look to them. <laughs> Alicia's saying, Faith, you're freaking me out as well. <laughs> At Canvas and Chroma, I'd clicked away from YouTube for a moment to check something and came back right as this showed up. OMG, Pam is off her rocker. Yay! <laughs> Thank you so much. But I didn't, if it's the baby sloth, I did not make, I did not make the, the speaking lipstick lady sloth. That, that is all Faith. <laughs> um, Alicia and Faith are both saying yes to the babies. Okay. Um, I, my, right, did I keep your eyes somewhere sensible? Nope, that bag's empty. I definitely saw the eyes. I put, I saw the eyes just before I started, and I put them somewhere sensible. Let's put some of this junk in the bin. But where, where is it sensible? Yeah. Okay, I can't find her eyes. So annoying. Well, I, ah, she doesn't need eyes. She's sleeping. Her eyes are closed. There we go. I am such an idiot. I literally, I had them in my hands and thought, oh yeah, I'll need those for today. But no. Okay, so Mama and Dada. Right, you guys, you guys have a little cuddle. There we go. Let's, they're having a little cuddle there. And we will get on and make the baby. Um, okay, so beige pipe cleaner, I want nine centimeters and five centimeters. So, nine, and five, and he is in the lighter colour as well, um, use the lighter beige wool colour, oh, hang on, how much of his body do I need? 15 centimetres of the extra strong. Okay, right, I look forward to the baby, this should be fun. Try and make the arms and legs. <laughs> um, the makers, if if you can make a mouse, you can make a sloth or vice versa. Cool, yep. That's it. Once you get the hang of one type of animal, you can usually fit in, <laughs> do similar. Um, Um, canvas where is somewhere sensible is the story of my life <laughs> if if my head wasn't attached to my body I would have probably lost it ages ago yep absolutely I, we're, we're creative people we're not supposed to be tidy and organized because I just get distracted so quickly <laughs> right giving him little skinny wee arms 
This pair looks so cute. <laughs> oh, dear, I'm just sitting the special cuddle, and then go there. That that's that's where baby sloths come from. A special cuddle between mummy and dad. I am betting you that this live stream is a hundred percent non-monetized already. <laughs> Because in the freaky world of YouTube, they can listen, to, their machines can listen to what you're saying and decide if you're suitable for advertisers. Is that not like totally creepy? <laughs> um, oh, Faith, something I found out was I had enough pipe cleaner and wool to make a second baby. Ah, yeah, good point. There's likely to be, isn't there? Cool. I think I think a family of three will be or tempted now actually um but no I'm not not going to Def not going to make a second baby well we'll see how how long and how well this turns out because I just literally had a thought there of how right I'll show I'll show you here I was just thinking like the first baby cuddles up to mama like that that's but but I thought a second baby when daddy's hanging off second baby could hang <laughs> like that. That would be really cute. Um, yeah, tempted. <laughs> no, don't... Because, well, I'm not going to get putting together the whole thing today because I lost my vines because I'm an idiot. And also, they're probably just, like, under a pile of wool. They're definitely under a pile of wool somewhere. Um, so, yeah, I don't want to put the whole thing together. No, we'll see how we're doing. Um, uh, George on the Rocks, I'm fine with doing the baby as well. Researching doodle art Halloween stuff. Oh, awesome. Yeah, I love that Halloween's coming. And I have just treated myself to something that might be fun. Because I've been doing doodling drawing I've been learning how to use uh, some new software and stuff to do doodle drawings and I'm assuming this will be a very small twist and so I just ordered myself a new drawing tablet one of the fancy ones that you've got the screen that you can actually see rather than my my traditional ones which don't which you just use the computer screen so I'm hoping to be able to get some more some better doodles in soon um, super looking forward to trying that. I was debating whether whether I could justify the expense and then I was just like, yeah, you know what? You're only here once and it's going to be fun. So, um, George, they're so cute. Thank you. Yes, I, <laughs> they're now holding... <laughs> Actually, great fun, right? They're holding hands now. Let's get... I love the challenge with the baby because she's so little and ditchy. It's definitely a lot more difficult. Um, but I always like doing... See, anytime you're making something, it really is sort of a good practice to have a go at making things bigger than you're used to and smaller than you're used to. Um, when I first started out making needle felting, I quite often would have a go at just making little panda bears i should actually do i've not done a panda bear tutorial um but making pandas and then just seeing how much smaller i could go until like i had a panda the size of my thumbnail that was so fiddly but so much fun um and then i did some other i think i did some squirrels like tiny that could sit on the last joint of your finger and stuff yeah, it's hard work to make them that super tiny but it's a great fun challenge and then when you get into doing bigger sizes again I feel you're a bit sort of better because you know how to do like really small details like just doing the eyes on a squirrel that's like that long is fiddly <laughs> but it is well worth it so yeah doing Doing super small if you're not used to it is a really good challenge. Let's see, I think I will just need my little needle for this. Which one is it? That one. Nope, that's not it. My least stabby needle. 
straight away. Um... <laughs> the makers. Okay, you persuaded me. I'm making a second baby now too. Yeah, absolutely. Two babies. Oh, I've got a bit of his wire show. We're, we're going to need to give a little a little nappy or diaper to, to my American friends. <laughs> a little nappy to the sky. There we go. Just to hide. Hide your bum. Um... G. Morgan, listened to a YouTube video podcast this morning filled with F-bombs, almost unlistenable because of the constant interruptions from ads. I don't know if YouTube really cares much on rebroadcast. Yeah, it's... With the F-bombs things, it's not so much that they won't... The advertisers are actually okay with F-bombs, just so long as you don't... You don't swear right at the start of your video. They've said if you know, if it's further in and it's kind of natural, then that's okay. Um, but it, it's just random what they pick to be not suitable for advertisers. And so, if you talk, if you talk about mummy and baby special cuddles, that tends to get flagged up. Um, and they did get into trouble for a while um, because it's an algor it's a computer algorithm that just works on deciding what's good and what's bad and it was trying to avoid any kind of sexually explicit material so it was looking in at anything that was flagging up as sexually explicit and the algorithm kind of decided that any sort of same sex channels had a higher chance of being of having sexually explicit material I've said that too often just now but um, same sex channels it, it thought had a higher chance of this so it started demonetizing all same sex like related channels I'm trying to find ways to say these without using trigger words for the algorithm um, but yeah there was a whole a whole thing where quite rightly um, people were, were complaining and saying YouTube was being biased against them, which it wasn't actually what it had meant to do. It was just how it happened. Um, that an algorithm's just dumb, just saying, you know, in in this type of content, it's more likely. Therefore, we're just going to flag them all up. So yeah, I don't know why I went off on that wee random random thing anyway. Um, Faith, OMG, I love pandas. I'm definitely up for that. Yeah, pandas are so cute and so easy as well. They really are pretty easy to make, and you can't go wrong. Bit of black, but here, here again, that's two projects we've done. Um, a penguin and a panda. That's just a little bit of black, a little bit of white. Super easy. Right. Fold your hands in already, because you're creeping me out. I can't decide if sloths are cute or creepy, or is it just um, creepily cute or cutely creepy or something, right? <laughs> You're so touchy. This is going to be fiddly, but worth it. Do a bit for his brown face. Um... Uh, Serena, I can't do small for love or money. Yeah, it's everyone's there i'm not the biggest fan I've, I've said probably a million times now i'm not the biggest fan of really big projects i struggle with them more i i prefer little um but i would totally recommend to anyone to do some things out of their co i picked the wrong color there yeah. let's just <laughs> let's just run with that let's just we're doing some clever shading now <laughs> completely unexpectedly yeah, um, to anyone, whatever it is that you usually do, try and get out of your comfort zone. So, like, if you're not good at doing small, try and do something half the size you would normally do and see how you get on. Same with big. Try and do stuff bigger. Um, because you learn different skills that way. It really is cool. Um, Serena, I love pandas. I love pandas, too. They are adorable. I... I have watched far too many videos of people in sanctuaries and stuff playing with the baby pandas. Um, 
I, I'm betting a good majority of you have seen like the the pictures of the of the staff with just like wheelbarrows full of pandas or trying to get them to stop playing and stuff. Um, uh, Alicia, cutely creepy, <laughs> I like that. Yeah, and yeah, don't forget next month's kit is the sea otters. I do have a load of other. I've got a get get on with my felting i've got a load of other kits to do and i've got a load of projects i want to do for myself as well <laughs> i'm so behind with everything i did take two weeks off of sunday streaming didn't i so that that's put me behind um <laughs> canvas and chroma skynet is here to destroy us but it'll be pitting humanity against itself instead of skynet destroying us itself very true <laughs> it could yeah that's that's what the terminator should have they should have done just put pit us against ourselves with yeah annoying grumpy politics and all sorts of things i think i think you're right that's how they would do it or that's how they are doing it just now we are in a very strange world just now very polarized yeah Pauline, I'm working on a panda at the moment and I've finished the sloth. Mine's about 10 centimetres tall. Oh, cool. Um, Helen, I have a doll's house brain, as my husband used to say. Oh, I I actually have a doll's house just over there. Um, and I was trying to do stuff for doll's houses, but I, I, I just didn't. Um, Serena, yeah, that's why I love the makers. They're great at getting me out of my comfort zone and making things I wouldn't normally do. Absolutely, same. Um, it's different methods of doing things like this is not how I would do sloths. I would, and my method would probably take a whole lot longer than this, so I'm loving this. Um, but yeah, it's good to sort of try different things. Totally. Yeah, I'm just making his eyes and tidy up his nose a little bit <laughs> he looks kind of angry right put your arms down a bit still looks kind of angry <laughs> sorry mr sloth guy i don't know why the baby's so angry it's because he needs a cuddle that's that's the problem he needs a cuddle he's not met his parents yet so we're all going to be here when mr sloth baby meets his parents for the first time <laughs> i haven't had enough sleep just now <laughs> Let's do the slothy eyes, not grumpy eyes. Right. Then I've just got to tidy him up a bit and then that's him done. That was super quick and cute. <laughs> um, <laughs> Canvas, my cat is out of control this morning. She keeps dive bombing my legs and demanding pets. But she really wants her morning treats. Oh, absolutely! Yes, you're you're fa failing as your human food lady to <laughs> to the cats. Absolutely, and it's funny. You just my my dog Mia. She's out out there, and just as you said that, she started um, digging up the carpet outside. She can't dig, but she likes to try and fluff up my my carpet's not fluffy enough for her. So I just heard the paws digging away there. It's like, I'm just going to make this now. She has lovely big fluffy beds all over the house, but she wants to lie outside the door and dig up the carpet instead. It's nice she wants to be with me, but yeah. <laughs> uh, Alicia just posted the sea otters photo on Crafty Friends. Um, yep, I will get there in a minute, but I'm looking forward to the sea otters that is coming up next month. But just now, just now, these are quite adorable little sloths. <laughs> um, who else has slightly annoying fur babies? Oh yeah, they they all have to be a little bit annoying <laughs> as well. As well as ador adorable and great company, they they are annoying. I was just talking to friends about that the other day, like. The number of people that got puppies during lockdown and they're being handed into rescues and everything now because it's like, oh, my puppy's a nightmare, it's it's out of control and stuff. It's like, yeah, puppies 
our young animals well bait young humans as well but but you know puppies are a complete nightmare it's only because they're so cute and they, they look adorable when they're sleeping but <laughs> they're certainly hard work let's try something a bit more stabby now um yeah so we, we all have annoying animals but they, they make up for it in in loveliness as well um Erica, OMG, a little sloth being born. Yep, absolutely. He came along super quickly. <laughs> and actually, yep, you guys are right. Baby is, the baby is cute. Yeah, uh, Alicia, yeah, canvas, saying yes to canvas when I zoom mine barks. Yeah, I think so many workplaces will have, oh my so many workplaces will have met all their their colleagues pets doing the most annoying things i remember um i'm not going to name names but um a good friend of mine and a youtube guru so that probably tells you who it is um but he was doing a live stream on youtube like this um and talking away and his dogs were in the background as they usually are and one of them peed on the carpet while he was live streaming which i thought was hilarious he didn't quite some <laughs> well he did see the funny side but yeah pets to us just like and not only did he do it did the dog pee on the carpet but it also held eye contact while peeing on the carpet it's like well if you're too busy just go in here mate and <laughs> you can't be mad at them it's just oh no and my girl Mia, who's outside just now, not zooming, but I used to be working on my computer and when I first got her and she would literally make eye contact with me with the broadband cable through her mouth and while she watched me, she would just bite through it. And you're like, oh my goodness, what a nightmare. Um, Now it's blocking Serena's messages. Thank you, whoever caught that. Um, uh, Alicia, yeah, when you zoom your barks. Yeah, I already said that, didn't I? Um, I'm forgetting what I've read. Yeah, I was so worried as well about going live that the dogs would bark. And then in one life, they did bark and it's no big deal. Like, people have pets and that's the thing with live is you guys get... You guys are way more forgiving and just like, yeah, that's what happens when you go live. Right. Where, where's the mama? That one's... Well, if I want to do him hanging... Right. We're done. Let's go to face. Let's go to full physique. So you can get a better look. So, Papa, that we saw last week. And... Mama. <laughs> there the mama. And... Then we have baby. So firstly, I want I just wanted to do that. I think that'll look so cute in the mobile. <laughs> yeah, that is that is adorable. So you can hang you can hang Dada and then you can hang a second baby. <laughs> can make him like slightly bigger and that's the big brother and then make a little one <laughs> and make make another little one to go with the mama cuz there's there is plenty of got enough wire left and we've got all of this of the light color left so there's plenty to make another one um but yes let's let's introduce mama to her and her baby <laughs> so they how did oh it is kind of like that and she's holding her her arms are up like that and baby's holding on that is so cute. <laughs> Mummy and baby. Um, oh yeah, her, her arms and her legs are holding on. I'm trying, trying to follow what they're showing in the picture, and I'm not, not figuring it out properly. Though her <laughs> stumpy wee legs. <laughs> That's so cute. Come on, you hold on, and there's your little baby, and there we go. <laughs> So do that on, hang that on better. But yes, here's our little family. Let's. 
Am I having too much fun with this? I am. I think, actually, I'm just going to hang them as they are and not make the rest of the mobile because then they can move about all over the place. But here is our sloth family for today. I want this little baby, such a naughty little thing. Um, yeah, so <laughs> cool. I think that'll pretty much do us for today. I did two critters today. I think that's pretty good going. Uh, yeah, you could felt them a bit firmer than I did, but it just shows. It, in an hour or two, you could get the whole project done if you're not too desperate to get everything like perfectly felted, like I was doing with the dad. But they're adorable, cute, um, cute and fluffy. And yeah, they're fun to play with. <laughs> so yeah, that's this month, August. What is this month? Yeah, that's August's Makers Kit done. <laughs> right, guys, thank you so much for joining me. I'll just check the chat for, uh, give you five minutes as ever, and then we'll be out of it. <laughs> just playing with these little guys. Right. In fact, here we go. There we go. I knew I had a, had this little thing for a reason. Sorry for anyone who's just joining and is like, what on earth is going on here? Right. My sloth family wall hanging, <laughs> or me hanging, is now complete. I can... <laughs> hey, I, I remember when I started needle felting, there was a shop on Etsy, a needle felter, and she did um, like necklaces with little critters. They were probably about this size, a little necklace with something hanging on, so they can be used for jewellery. <laughs> I feel like, oh, another story. When we used to go to the craft fairs, well, not the craft fairs, the crate and craft, well, the big craft things at the exhibition centers and there was a woman demoing some glitter stuff and to make like cards and things with drawings like a special glue thing and then you could put the glitter on and every time she was doing it she would just deliberately run her thing run her hands through her hair so she was covered in glitter and i'm feeling like that now and like make something and then just wear it <laughs> um Serena, my dog's annoying. He always wants to be on my knee and licks you constantly. Ah, oh. had um uh, friends I went to visit in the park. Um, her dog climbed right up on the cough on the picnic table and was one like right in all of our faces. I got a proper French kiss from him. <laughs> um, gotcha. Oh, it's so adorable. Thank you so much. Um. Alicia, thank you so much. You're always fun to watch. Thank you for joining us. Um, Canvas and Chroma, I've no interest in needle felting. I just enjoy listening to you talk. Uh, thank you so much. I enjoy having you here. I totally get it. I watch so many crafting channels of things that I wouldn't do, but I like watching them. My, my favourite one is still the acrylic pores. I think it's gorgeous, but I'm too messy a person. I would destroy my house. So I like to watch other people doing it. Um, and I love seeing people make things in their process. Absolutely, it helps me with my process. And yeah, like I said, I watched a wood carving tutorial once and ended up needle felting along to his wood carving tutorial, which is totally bonkers and great. Um, Erica, what a great make. Yeah, thank you. I think it really was. It was good fun. I've got to still, like, show my boobs. Yeah. <laughs> um, Pauline, thank you. Fun to work along with you all. Thank you so much, Pauline. And don't forget Pam Duffy's Crafty Friends on Facebook and The Makers. If you want to share what you've made, we'd love to see it. Erica, thank you. CJ, thank you so much. Um, Serena, they look great. Thank you for another great live. Guys, thank you so much for joining me. It's been awesome. I will stop this and then sit awkwardly and wait. But yeah, bye. Have a great week. <laughs>